Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Wetton Science Revision. In this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate the RF value of a dye when you're doing chromatography. Okay, so a reminder of paper chromatography. This is what we're using to separate out usually different dyes that form part of an ink or a food colouring based on their solubility. So some dyes are more soluble and they travel further, other dyes are less soluble in the solvent and they don't travel as far. Now we want to be able to compare the dyes when we do different chromatograms. Maybe we do them on different days of different temperatures, maybe we leave some in for longer than others. So we calculate the retention factor or the RF value to make it fair so that we can compare those different chromatograms. Now the equation we use for this is RF is equal to the distance travelled by the dye, so that's the spots, divided by the distance travelled by the solvent, that's the solvent front. And these are both measured from the pencil baseline that you draw, that you put your original ink samples on. Here's an example of this being done. A dye moved 5 centimetres while the solvent moved 10 centimetres. Calculate the RF value of the dye. So this is a two mark question, so you'll get one mark for your working out and one mark for the correct answer. So we use RF equals distance moved by dye divided by distance travelled by solvent. In this case the dye has moved 5 centimetres and the solvent has travelled 10 centimetres. So we're going to do 5 divided by 10 and that will give us an RF value of 0.5. Now this is a good result because we can see that it's less than 1. Remember that RF is always less than 1. If you get a number that's more than 1, you've just done them the wrong way round. You may have done 10 divided by 5 instead of 5 divided by 10. So just have a go the other way round. You might get these in a picture format. So I gave you a worded question before, but these are giving you a diagram that you need to analyse. So we've got three separate chromatograms with different dye spots on them. Calculate the RF value for each dye. Now realistically, you're not going to be asked to do all three for six marks, you would just be asked to do one for two marks. So we've got dye A, dye B and dye C. We need to first measure the distances that they have travelled, which is 7 centimetres, 3 centimetres and 5 centimetres. And then we need to also measure the distance that the solvents travelled. So this is the distance from the baseline to the solvent front, which for all of them is 8 centimetres. So the equation we're going to use is the same as before. RF equals distance moved by dye divided by distance moved by the solvent. So for A, A has moved 7 centimetres for the dye, the solvent's moved 8 centimetres. So we do 7 divided by 8, which is 0 0.875. Less than 1, perfect. Same process for B. Distance moved by dye is 3, solvent is still 8. So we do 3 divided by 8, which is 0 0.375. And for C, the dye has moved 5 centimetres and the solvent's moved 8. So we do 5 divided by 8, which is 0 0.625. All of those are coming out as less than 1, which is perfect. One mark for your working out and one mark for your correct answer. Right, here are some practice questions for calculating RF. Number one, calculate the RF value of each die in this chromatogram. So we've got four separate dies there. You need to calculate the RF value for each one. First thing we need to do is measure how far the dies have travelled. So that's 4.2, 1.7 and 2.6 centimetres. And we measure the distance their solvent has travelled, which is 5 centimetres. Use this equation, distance moved by dye divided by distance moved by solvent to calculate the RF value of each of the dyes. Pause the video and have a go. So for A we're just going to do distance of dye divided by distance of solvent. In this case the dye's actually travelled 0 centimetres because it hasn't moved at all, so A is still on the baseline. So we do 0 divided by 5 which gives us an RF of 0. And that tells us that the dye is actually insoluble in our solvent. Might not be insoluble in all solvents, but in this one. B has moved 4.2 while the solvent has moved 5. 4.2 over 5 is 0.84, less than 1, fantastic. C has travelled 1.7, solvent has travelled 5. 1.7 over 5 is 0.34. And D has travelled 2.6, we divide that by 5. And that gives us 0.52. 
So those are all less than one. In each case, one mark for using the correct process and one mark for your answer. Now, you might be asked to do something a little bit different. And instead of working out the RF value, you have to work out the distance traveled by the dye or the solvent. So in this chromatogram, our solvent has traveled 10 centimeters, but we're gonna to have to work out how far our dye has traveled. So it's kind of the backwards version. So let's say this dye has an RF value of 0.7 and the solvent has traveled 10 centimeters. We need to calculate the distance traveled by the dye. So it's like a backwards version. See if you can figure out how to do this. Okay, so in this case, we're still gonna use RF equals distance moved by dye divided by distance moved by the solvent. But in this case, we're gonna to have to miss out some of the information. So the information we do have is that we know that the RF is 0.7. We don't know the distance moved by the dye, but we do know that the solvent has moved 10. So 0.7 equals something divided by 10. What would you have to divide by 10 to get 0.7? Seven centimeters. So the dye will have traveled seven centimeters. You might just want to rearrange the equation if you know how to do that. Some questions you might be able to get away with doing what we've just done. Thank you for watching guys. I hope this has been helpful for you. Let me know what you want to see in the next set of videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.